you've got a big you've got a big bass guitar um you know i mean Joran are a bunch of rock stars they're they're all stars in their own right you know john taylor's bass can never be lost in the mix right. <laughs> Yeah. You know, because <laughs> not if you want to keep your job. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Yeah. So you know, there's there's no opportunity to sort of go. Oh, you know, this is a bit of a tricky mix. This one, I'll I'll pull the bass down a little bit just to make it easier for me. Because you know, at the end of the night, there's somebody on bloody YouTube or yeah. <laughs> tweeting that they couldn't hear John's bass in whatever song. So you know, that that sort of area. Um, and to, to 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 have the bass guitar there. Uh, he's very noty, you know, he's a very noty player, so um, it's not all just waffle down the bottom end. Right, right. He's, he's like a sort of, well, I don't know, it's a funk guitar, really. Almost, know. almost, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so to have him sitting in that low mid register, on on a lot of rigs, you'll find that you lose the, the, the punch from the bottom end of the snare drum. Yeah, the definition. Then, yeah. Yeah, so there's no weight left in the snare drum if you want the bass sitting there. Right. Whereas, uh, what I found on the Adamson is that I could I could have the you know a, a big weighty snare and still get the the definition of the bass, the the note in the bass and the weight of the um, of the snare just sitting alongside each other. And on some rigs, you know, it's it's a bit of a compromise. It's sort of like, well, I'm gonna have to take a little bit out of the out of the the weight of the snare drum just to make room for for the bass. Right, or Not vice versa. Of the acoustics, but because of what you feel like the rig can actually uh, reproduce. Right. 